The month of June has traditionally been called the month of the Sacred Heart. That's because during this month we usually celebrate a feast in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, an organization which promotes, among other things, devotion to the Sacred Heart. I know some people find it odd that Catholics honor a part of the body of Jesus, his heart. But everyone's familiar with the heart as a symbol of love. That's what Valentines are all about. So it shouldn't be surprising that we use the heart of Jesus to remind us of the great love that he has for us. No one can live without a heart. The heart pumps blood and life throughout the body. And the same is true for the body of Christ, the church. We have a heart, the very heart of Jesus. And this heart, part of his risen body, will never stop beating with love for you, for me, for everyone. His heart beats with love and sends his divine life to every part of the body. You're a cell within the body, and you can only be spiritually alive and healthy if you're receiving life from the heart of Jesus. Like a branch and a vine, an image that Jesus used at the Last Supper in John's Gospel, the life of Jesus, the vine, flows into you, a branch, but only if you are united to him. And how can you be united to him? How can his heart pump life into you? By receiving Jesus in Holy Communion. In the Holy Eucharist, Jesus gives you his body and blood, his soul and divinity, his own heart to give you.